Okay guys, so in this video, you'll be learning what is Ethereum, but first I want to talk a little bit about Bitcoin so you can see the difference between Bitcoin and Ethereum because they are similar but a little bit different, okay? So Bitcoin was created in 2008 by Satoshi Nakamoto. We don't know who he is. The great thing about Bitcoin, or the interesting thing about Bitcoin, nobody owns it. It is a decentralized technology that is online. There's no CEO, CMO, CFO, CTO that doesn't exist. There are developers and there's core uh, teams around the world that are working on the Bitcoin protocol together to expand the technology. So Bitcoin's really, really good at storing value. It has the same immutable ledger since eight years ago. It's had some soft forks, etc. And for now, it's immutable. There might, there might be a hard fork this year. I don't know. It might, it might not be. Hopefully it doesn't. Whatever, we'll see that's technology. But it's really good at storing value. The issue right now is a scalability issue and it's the issue of speed, transactions per second. You know, it's not really viable for me to go inside a store and say, boom, I'm gonna buy something because it's not instantaneous at the current moment. It's really good at remittances, sending money internationally for pennies because I don't need the money instantaneously. I can wait an hour to get my money. Okay, capiche, okay? So let's look at Ethereum. Ethereum was founded by Vitalik Buterin a couple of years ago. Vitalik was working with the Bitcoin magazine. He was working on Bitcoin, very well versed in that industry. And basically he saw an opportunity to expand the original blockchain technology that was Bitcoin into Ethereum. So what Ethereum is, is A, first of all, it's a complete different blockchain protocol. You have Bitcoin, which I forgot to mention, functions on proof of work. So computations of gaming graphics or GPUs, they put on these mathematical things to solve a problem by random solving. So it's not like, get, it's actually guesswork. So computers are guessing a certain nonce, this mathematical equation to solve a problem, hence it goes to the blockchain. So it's proof of work. Ethereum right now is proof of work, but soon to be proof of stake, virtual mining, okay? So Ethereum is a different blockchain than Bitcoin. Now, this is what Ethereum is. It has its own currency, which is called Ether, and Ether makes Ethereum run. So the difference between Ethereum and Bitcoin is A, Ethereum will soon to be proof of stake. That's a big difference. That's next year. B, it's a different cryptocurrency. It is Ethereum. C, a major difference. There are real figureheads to run Ethereum. You have Vitalik, you have some other people. So there are these key people that you can actually speak to in real life to get real feedback on what's going on with the blockchain protocol that is Ethereum. And another one, a huge one, which what Ethereum is based on is smart contracts. So smart contracts are kind of like digital code. Some people call it code. Well, let's just call it digital triggers that you can implement online to execute certain tasks that you need. I'll give you an example. I call it a virtual vending machine, okay? So let's say I, I put on an escrow and I put a certain rule in escrow, meaning that when certain people register their five votes into this escrow, automatically that escrow will open up and send five people this many cryptocurrency of ether. So it's the same thing like a vending machine where I put in a dollar, I press a code, that code executes a trigger, that trigger you know, spins out a different candy bar for me and I get it. It's no different than what we do in email marketing with automation. If you're familiar with automation, setting up funnels, that's what smart contracts are. They're based on triggers and rules and laws they implement, but based on the ether uh, currency. And it's really quite amazing type of technology. Nothing crazy new, but, but implemented in this way is pretty new and pretty revolutionary, I do say, okay? so. Another great thing about Ethereum is decentralized apps. So with Ethereum, think of it kind of like, uh, you know, Linux or kind of like Microsoft where people would build on top of those softwares. So you have the Ethereum blockchain as the base, as the protocol. Then you have these dApps, decentralized applications are built on top of Ethereum. Certain decentralized companies would be such as Golem, right? Where they are trying to use your spare computer resources so you can sell on site. It's actually pretty cool idea if you look into it, okay? So Ethereum is more, I would say, flexible than Bitcoin. It has more developers. I may be mistaken on that. It has a different mythos than Bitcoin. It's not claiming to be the true source of like stored value as like Bitcoin might be say digital gold and it's more like a hedge. Ethereum is trying to be a true software company where other software developers and startups can build on top of it. 
as well as with Ethereum protocol, you need small amounts of Ether to run as gas. So without small amounts of Ether, you can't execute the contracts, the smart contracts that I talk about. So let's all summarize what Ethereum is. It is a new blockchain separate from Bitcoin that has co-founders around the world. The main founder here is Vitalik from Toronto. It has smart contracts, which is different from Bitcoin. It has a different cryptocurrency, which is Ethereum. It has decentralized apps, so applications you can build on top of Ethereum. And it's considered the world computer. And above all, which is not yet today, as I mentioned, proof of stake. Right? So virtual mining. We'll see how that goes. That's happening mm, next year. Hopefully, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, there are a lot of differences, but a lot of similarities. Ethereum wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Bitcoin. And actually, all of the blockchains wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Bitcoin. Bitcoin opened the door, opened up Pandora's box for everything that you see today. So I'm a huge supporter of Ethereum, as you can see. I think they have an amazing dev team. I think they have amazing leadership. Um, the community is amazing. The startups being built on top of Ethereum are amazing. Like I mentioned before, Golem, that's one of my favorites right now currently on there. And I have high hopes for it, as you can see currently, just because of the issues with Bitcoin, with the supposed fork from uh, Core and Unlimited. You know, people are losing trust and faith in Bitcoin. I love Bitcoin. I still have a bunch of them and I'm never going to let them go. Uh, I don't consider myself a Bitcoin maximalist, but hey, it's the first. It's beautiful. And I think it's going to be around for a much longer time, regardless of if it's like Bitcoin Unlimited or the Bitcoin Core. Uh, but yes, uh, get involved in Ethereum. Get some Ethereum. Understand it. Oh, and I forgot to mention another major difference with Ethereum is Bitcoin is based on C++. Not too many people learn it today and it's kind of convoluted. Ethereum is based on JavaScript. So if you're very good at JavaScript, you can easily learn their programming language called Solidity. Okay. If you want more information about Solidity, if you are a developer programmer, check the link before. We do offer courses for that. So that's a huge benefit. How many JavaScript developers are there? A lot. And it's quite easy principles to learn. So if you're really good at JavaScript, you have a really greater chance of learning Solidity which is their main programming language on Ethereum right now. So yeah, I really forgot to mention that. Uh, but yeah, there you have it. That's what Ethereum is. Like I mentioned before, guys, if you're new, only if you're new, get yourself an Ethereum wallet or any, or any like joint wallet, multi-wallet, and leave a comment below with what video you want me to make next or share this video and leave me your Ether address and I'll send you some Ethereum. And uh, yeah, that's it guys. Have a great day. Peace. Oh, PS, people wondering how to buy Ethereum. Two decent spots to buy it. Coinbase, I have a link below. Kraken's pretty good. I like them for all the currency as well. I have a link below. Peace.